All right, so what I'm going to do now is show you how to uh, fill your shape with an image to create a custom look or a richer look um, for your shapes. So in this case, we're going to fill it with that leather texture. So I've got my uh, PowerPoint shape here. It really could be any PowerPoint shape. It really doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, we're just going to use this rectangle. I want to right click and then format the shape. And then you'll see I have a box here with my fill options. And uh, right now it's filled with a solid color. We're going to go ahead and fill it with the picture. And it's going to pull in the uh, leather that I was using. But what you would do is just go to File. And then I happen to have my leather image here. So I can go ahead and insert that. Um, getting a leather image is easy enough. You can just take a picture of some leather. You can probably find all sorts of leather uh, images uh, by doing a Google search or um, through some of the free uh, photo sites. But anyway, we have our leather image. And then what we want to do is uh, look at what we have. So when we look at it, this actually looks fine. Uh, so you could probably use something like this. A couple of things with the fill, though. One is you can tile it. Uh, by default, it's going to try to fit that image into the shape. If you do tie, you're actually going to get it at its original shape uh, si or the image's size, and it'll start tiling it through. In this case, the image is actually much bigger uh, than that shape. And then uh, the other thing you can do is you can play around uh, with the offsets here. So you can move them left and right. And um, if you go to tile, you can actually change uh, the sizing of it and then the position of it as well. So you, you have a lot of control over uh, how you work with that texture uh, once you bring it in there. We're just going to use the default setting. Now um, this actually is fine the way it is. Uh, the challenge though is I'm kind of stuck with the color that I get from the leather. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to create uh, some custom colors and then a little bit more control on the leather. So let's go ahead and duplicate this shape. We're going to move it over here. Let's nudge this over here. So we've got our, our duplicated shape here. We're going to fill this shape with um, brown. Oops. I'm going to fill the shape here with brown. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that shape. Let's make this a little smaller. So I'm going to duplicate this shape. So what I want to do is I want to have two shapes. One shape is going to have the color. Uh, the other shape is going to have the texture. They want to be exactly the same size so that you can put them on top of each other and then uh, everything will match. So this has got our color. And if you wanted to, you can play around with um, some, some different effects on here. Like if you want to do a bezel or something. Let's go ahead and just add a bezel just to see or the, the beveling here and see what this does. Now this one we want to go ahead and fill with, an, with that picture, the leather picture. So let's go ahead and do Format Shape. We're going to choose picture. Uh, it's going to pull in the leather picture here. So we've got our leather picture. We hit, um, we look at it. Now what we want to do is kind of make it transparent. We can play around with the transparency. I'll just do about 35 or so. We drop it on here. And now all of a sudden you can see instead of this blackish gray leather, I've got a brownish color leather. Uh, and you, you can kind of start to make out um, some of the beveling, which adds a little bit more uh, depth and texture to that. So that's as easy as that is. It's just a matter of uh, coming up with the texture that you want, and using that as a, you know, using a picture as texture, making it somewhat transparent, putting it on top of a color. And then uh, let's see, let's say we did a bluish color. So you can see I've got a lot more control um, here. You can do a lot of stuff with that. The other thing you can do is you get some wood paneling. Um, in PowerPoint is a texture. So if you right click Format Picture, let's go to Fill. We just choose one of these textures. I'm going to choose Wood here. And so when I bring the wood in here, um, you've got that too. And you can uh, do a little bit more with the wood. It actually makes the wood look a little bit more uh, natural than if you just filled it with uh, regular wood. So let's, let's fill this with brown while we're messing around here. So you can see what that looks like versus uh, let's fill this one with that texture. We'll just do the regular wood. And uh, you can see this kind of doesn't look, it looks kind of fake. This gives a little softer look. And um, you get the subtlety of the grain and it looks a little bit more real. So play around with the textures and images and there's a lot of neat things that you can do with that.